Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, you guys. Thank you for being here and thank you for taking your part of your day and spending it with me. I greatly appreciate it and I appreciate the comments on my angry Andy art that I posted. Yeah, I was. I did that in about 15-20 minutes, you guys. I just started throwing it on there and I'm going to try this color and throw it on there and how about a little bit of this and not a little bit of that? <laughs> uh, there's a mix of latex with, uh, believe it or not, uh, an, uh, an oil paint that's meant to give a copper look uh, for uh, the house or something. You know, it, it definitely was not canvas paint. So, yeah, it definitely was. Um, I'm irritated. I'm just going to do it now kind of thing. So, yeah, it definitely was a good way to channel channel that anger, as people have mentioned. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely Andy, uh, angry Andy art. So yeah, I'm actually starting another one, uh, today, a much, much twice the size of that canvas. Um, some art that I didn't like, I'm really over it. And then that's what I'll do. If I have something I bought years ago and I'm, I'm sick of it and I don't want it anymore, I'll just paint over it. So that's what I'm doing. My husband will probably be like freaked out when he walks home and sees the beginning stages of it you know so it you know it, it it does it can end up becoming a layer upon layer upon layer and change your mind and until you decide okay I think I'm done with this here uh but uh, I'm not an artist but I pretend I am as I like to say so it's nice to pretend once in a while <laughs> so there we go I did have a little chat speaking of Samantha on x also formerly known as twitter and um, she left some messages for me because I asked her how she was doing and I showed her my angry art and that's what I did with my time since I was so irritated. And um, she is resilient. She is going to persevere and yes, she is going to fight it. And her attitude's uh, very positive. And she's working on her second book, which people have mentioned that if it doesn't go to court and they didn't even bother looking at the stuff, by the way, she said, uh, then she could possibly use all that for her book. I suppose, uh, that's what some commenters have been saying and I probably right, probably can. Uh, so there's that benefit. And then she's going to get a better publisher this time. I apparently last time, believe it or not, uh, she got ripped off you guys. Uh, so she's going to have a better situation for herself this time so she can actually profit. And, uh, maybe she will spill secrets this time because maybe she's angry. So I hope she's angry and puts that on paper. <laughs> she has her other way of artistically expressing herself. Maybe she could do some angry poems. <laughs> I know our brother has some angry videos and he likes to channel it through humor and that, that's good. You know, it's a, it's a way to unload uh, and uh, have uh, something to maybe show for it in the end. So you know. uh, anyways, so let's find out uh, through the cards uh, what's what's likely to occur next. Hopefully I'll get it this time and, and I will be not uh, trying to do what I did when I did my my spread on it uh, where I was like, no, that can't be her, that can't be her. Uh, if it comes out and it's, it's not good, I'm just going to have to go with it. I, I hate delivering bad news. That, that's what it is. I saw that and I was like, ah, no, I don't like bad news. So um, yeah, and so I was really trying to be optimistic in that situation and I'm just going to have to go with what I see. So there you go, you guys. So <clears throat> I'm going to be direct in my questioning here and uh, direct in my response. But when I see it, I'm not going to flip and say, oh, that's got to be Megan. So <laughs> I won't be doing that this time. <laughs> Lesson learned. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> so how is it going to go for Samantha? Will Samantha get what Samantha wants? Will Samantha get what Samantha wants? Will Samantha take this to court? Will this go to court? Will this go to court? Very direct. Very direct. Is this going to go to court? Will this make it? Will this make it wherever the court is? I'm not sure. Some say Florida. Some say, you know, so who knows? Is it going to court? Will this make it? Will this make it? Please be clear, spirit guides and angels. Do not mess with me. All right. What's going to happen with court? Will justice be served and will it go in the favor of Samantha? Will justice be served and go in the favor of 
Whoa, there we go. That wanted out. Here we go. So we have here five of cups in reverse. Five of cups upright is saying no. So it's not no. It's 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 still kind of an acceptance of loss. Uh, it is a loss card. So healing. So it's saying no, it won't. Uh, this is I can't fix it card and going through the stages of grief and having to accept it. So no, it's not going to, it's saying no. I hope she doesn't watch us. Don't, don't watch us, Samantha, because I don't want this to be the case. At the bottom of the deck and basically uh, four of wands is basically a uh, home life and um, safe haven and stay home, Samantha. And you have your family uh, to sell it to not celebrate. It is a celebration, but she had a solid family with Megan. And even though it's saying no subconsciously, it's saying, hey, you deserve it. Uh, you know, you deserve that celebration because it was a solid, stable home uh, for Megan and for Samantha. So, but it's still a no, but subconsciously she really wants to celebrate and get that yes. Uh, who doesn't? I think we all do here. Uh, we all want to celebrate. We all want to have a party. And she also wants a reunion for her father. Um, and, she, and this would be, if this was a yes card position, subconsciously she really wants her dad to, to be able and for herself to look her in the eye. Cause that's a reunion card. So, but it's saying, no, you're not getting that reunion, even though you, you really want it. So that's not good. And I hate that. I, I can't stand that. So let's get to the challenging position here. Challenging position, challenging position. Now it's not going to spin in her favor, the wheel in reverse. So the opportunity in reverse, that sucks. Falling apart. So this is why she's not going to show up to court. And then we have that just came out for the focal point, 10 of cups in reverse. She's not going to get her opportunity for another reunion. This is another reunion position, getting to see her. Uh, it is a shattered, broken family with the 10 of cups, and it's coming to a very negative conclusion. Uh, 10 in reverse. It's, it's a negative karma. No harvest. Uh, it just coming to an end here. Ten of Cups in reverse is a very uh, broken family, very painful, a lot of infighting, losses, failure, negative legacy, no reunion, no reunion. Yeah, this was a way for her to force Megan to look them in the eye. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to happen, and I don't like this at all. Okay, past position that doesn't serve. Past position, past position that doesn't serve. Past position. I'm going to go with past position. Past position that doesn't serve. I'm just going to take what's on top, and that is the devil energy. That is not being able to negotiate your way. Uh, what doesn't serve also with the temperance in reverse is life is a mess. Life is a mess. Uh, because of the extreme behaviors, there's been no middle ground. There's been no fairness. There's been no calmness. There's been no calm and carry on. The patience has run out because temperance upright is being very patient. They're they're sick and tired. Uh, basically, there is just it's it's being pushy and arrogant and abrasive doesn't serve. They can't push their way into her life. They can't push her to do what she doesn't want to do. Going overkill, having this mess of a life, having these extreme behaviors, and having a lack of patience. It, there's nothing they can do because it's like dealing with a little devil girl. And uh, they can't control her. That's about controlling other people. They cannot control Megan. Uh, she had an, an happy, feel, happy, happy home life, but she shattered that happy home life. She made sure that they didn't get lucky with her. She's like thinking, oh, they want my riches. They want my wealth. They want me. Now you're out of luck. Just deal with it and accept the loss here with the five of cups in reverse. And she always has been someone you could not quite uh, negotiate with. She was pretty much a little devil in the making. And uh, that little devil is now in the past. She's not going into the future with them. And she is an only my way person. Uh, Megan doesn't, doesn't do that. And cross, this could be like a sibling thing. Samantha also is, well, guess what? I'm going to butt against you and I'm going to fight you and I'll get my way too, uh, is how I feel about that. And it just created this terrible uh, turn of events here. So trying to force her to get that turn of events doesn't look like it's going to happen. Hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy. Whoops. 
I'm going to take this one here on top. There's two of them here. Those are the ones I'm taking. And it looks like the end of the road. It's coming to the end of the road with the chariot, and she can reveal everything. It looks like even if it's coming to the end of the road and, you know, it's the end game here. It's a challenge card, end game challenge, but she could still take that gaslighting and flip it because it's been fantasy and, and illusion and delusion and all that. She can flip it. She can't flip it and let all the secrets out because this is where reality smacks you. And this is the other thing. The idea that she can get what she wanted and it was wishful thinking comes to a screeching halt and it's been too much of a challenge uh it is also the revenge card it is mental struggles trying to get victory through adversity focusing on winning 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 but this winning is coming to an end uh in the seven in reverse so that represents uh this challenging test has come to a, a, a negative completion here uh, and she still wants to carry on and take on that challenge. That's why we have the chariot. She might still feel like, okay, fine. You got, you, you want to challenge me? Well, I can take, take revenge and I can now release all the secrets. So even if it doesn't go to court, she can use it in her book. <laughs> go for it, girl. Go for it. She didn't want to profit off it. Well, guess what? Maybe now she can. There's always a silver lining, right? Here we go, and she's gonna persevere. There she is, that's Samantha. That's the nine of wands right there. She is she is wounded, but, and she's parent, she's a little bit paranoid. She knows there's enemies out there. She, there's a lot of people who, that have said otherwise about her. Uh, but, but basically with this, uh, this nine of wands, it's, it's just basically she's gotta put up her boundaries. Uh, she's going to be very stubborn, very resilient. It's total resilience. I'm going to carry on. I got this one last one in my hand. I got my boundaries. I'm not going to reveal exactly what I'm doing because I got to go to court. That's why we see this. Okay. I got to be, you know, I can't tell everyone things I'd like to talk about. She can't because it's a court case, but I got this last one. I'm going one more go. I'm trying one more time. So she's going to try again. She is trying, but it's looking like it's a no. But she can always keep trying, and she could reveal those secrets if she wanted to <clears throat> in a book. Then with the next position here, I have here hope. So she's trying to get hope here. She's not going to feel shame over it. Five of Pentacles upright is the shame. It is that humbling blow to the self-esteem, the humbling blow. You know, here it is low confidence upright here in reverse. She's still hopeful. She's hopeful. She wants some some level of healing. Uh, it's closure. This is a, would be a closure situation. And it's a new job for her. Her new job is going to be a book author and revealing the secrets if she needs to. It has become a job, in essence. And she does it out of her home. She's not homeless because if, if it was upright, she'd be a homeless lady. You know, Samantha would be the homeless person, but she's not. She's at home and she's working very hard at it. It's like a, a new job position in that right there. So, and there's no shame in attempting what she's doing against her sister. She doesn't feel the shame anymore. <clears throat> Let's get to the outside influences, outside influences, outside influences. Ooh, nope. Gosh, well, my thumb really wanted that, so I guess I'll take it. So we have here, yeah, darn it. Ah. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. I feel that, yeah, this has been corruption. Yeah, she mentioned that, uh, that it was corruption. That definitely there's some deep pockets and corruption going on. And uh, some of it's uh, politically related. Not going to go there because I don't want to stir the pot and make people upset. But uh, there's that. And I know that there is talk about uh, Epstein and that whole uh, attacking and taking down uh, the entire royal establishment as well. Uh, that is a total corruption with the Knight of Swords, excuse me, the King of Swords in reverse. Total corruption. This is absolute legal corruption here, okay? Upright, that's the lawyer. That's legal law, truth, strong regard for the truth here. Ah, we don't care about the truth. Um, so I think with that, that's a legal thing. So it's not going to happen. Unfortunately, corruption is corruption and it's going to continue. She's going to persevere, but she's dealing, she's trying to fight up against corruption. Um, I'm going to challenge that corruption, that uh, king of swords in reverse. I'm going to, I'm going to clarify that king of swords in reverse. I think I'm going to try my other deck here just so I have an entire deck here. Let's get the king of swords in reverse corruption. What's going to happen with the corruption? 
what's going to happen with the corruption, 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 outside forces, corruption, laying kind of sideways, but I will say it, it is a four of swords, defeat. Yeah, she's going to be defeated by corruption. Not too cool. And she's going to try and still plan her next moves. Well, actually, the lawyers are always planning their next moves. Uh, they're always one step ahead. I guess that's probably the right way to say it. Lawyers uh, with corruption, they're always planning their next move. They'll destroy you, take solitude, and, and plan ahead to, reju to rejuvenate themselves. Uh, and there is a lot of, uh, you know, loan time and planning time to do so. That sucks. Okay, let's get to the hopes and fears. Whoa, there we go. We have four of pentacles. So she is going to keep doing it. This pattern of behavior is going to continue. Uh, it is going to be having to be, I would say she's going to have to be frugal with her money with the four of pentacles. But it's also about saving. It's about people, relations, behaviors. Uh, it's maintaining a pattern of behavior. So uh, I think this pattern of behavior with the corruption is going to continue. And uh, with that, there's, it's, it's a business card too. And I think that the lawyers like taking a little payola because it's the greedy miser. I'm my, give me money, money, money. I'm greedy, greedy, greedy. So the payoff, there was a payoff here. There was a payoff and uh, they're going to maintain that pattern of behavior of corruption and defeating others through corruption and payola, deep pockets and go into planning mode, probably to cover their tracks. <clears throat> Let's get the final call, the final outcome, the final outcome, the final outcome, the final outcome. Ooh, there it is, two of cups. She has lots of support. She has a lot of support and she will still heal. She's gonna do some creative collaborations, share her feelings and her ideas. Uh, there will be some connections. There's gonna be a lot of balance. Uh, so basically this will balance the opposites. So the balancing of the opposites will probably be through her book and partnering up with the right person. It's an early stage relationship card. So I would say that would be like a new, um, you, you know, a new person to put it out there, help her get her to where she needs to be. Uh, it's still, it's a time of healing. I think that's for me, I feel that's a two. So that she's going to be very decisive because it's a two. Two is about being, making decisions. It's about diplomacy. She's going to consider her next steps. It's a first step. Uh, she's going to serve a life plan, life path, and she's going to make choices and decisions and other people are going to be there to help her. But I feel that this corruption is going to continue. And I feel that this here, Two of Cups, this, this collaboration card and this revenge card with revealing the secrets is her and her book because the corruption is going to continue. Let's get to the center of the deck. We have here, oh, I like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, babe. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, we have seven of swords in reverse. Let's reveal those lies and take off that smug pleasure off her face. Oh, yes, we are. We're going to talk about your nastiness, Megan. <laughs> you need to drop all pretenses, girlfriend. All right, flower. Flower is going to get deflowered. She's going to get unmasked and punished. And then she's going to feel like she needs to apologize. And then Samantha is going to make some money. Paola is coming her way. That's right. She's going to get some money. And she'll have more self-sufficiency, independence. And she's going to be able to feel... This is like the cornucopia. It's a cornucopia here. So she's going to make a little cornucopia. And she's going to have to manipulate the situation. It feels pretty dark doing it. She didn't want to do this. But basically, uh, you know, it's been stalled. It has been... It's just been a little stalled here. But she is a little uninspired because she wasn't trying to do it through money. But it's looking like she's going to have to manipulate it that way through revenge and un unveiling the secrets. So this is her getting her payola. And Megan's not going to like that. And she knows she knows the secrets. She knows the secrets. And she can either keep them or she can manipulate it and put them out there. And expose her totally with the Seven of Swords. So she can just say, hey... You know, I do know your secrets and um, I'll do what I have to do kind of spread here. And with the high priestess is basically also it's that higher powered focus. 
So she has this higher powered focus with the magician next to it. So it's that higher powered focus to sort of manipulate things to the way she wants it to go because it didn't go so well in the court. So it's like, if you're going to play dirty with me, guess what? I can play dirty too. <laughs> That's really what it is. Hey, I would do the same thing. So it's looking like Samantha, if you, if you play dirty with me, well, I can make it happen. I can, I can play the same game you're playing. Watch me. That's what it is. That's what this is. Oh, my. That's the sassiness of Samantha. So I guess I'll have to call her Sassy Samantha for now on. Here we go. Sassy Samantha. Sassy girl's going to get sassy with their words. I say she put in some nice creative poems there. It's been a journey. <clears throat> a journey going, going against official people. <clears throat> She's had expectations here in the, in the process, probably <clears throat> that this journey would be above board being official and that, you know, this is dealing with some high-end people who, who are supposed to be doing the right thing, right? But they're not. And courtship, but she's going to get this courtship going. The courtship, same thing I had with that two of cups. So this is that creative, taking the first steps. Uh, so she is going to have some expectations also with her new new people with the situation that are better for her with this official. So this journey is going to go better because she has higher expectations. She knows what can go wrong. And so it's an, another new beginning for her. <clears throat> so that's how I see it. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this till next time. Like, and subscribe. Bye you guys.